solve this. So two, you have two into x minus five. Therefore, you will expand this. So it is two x minus two into five. Two into x is two x. Two into five is ten. Two x minus ten plus you have three into x. This is three into x is three x. Three into minus two minus so plus into minus will be minus three into two will be six is equal to eight plus seven into x will be seven x that's a distributive property that you will use over multiplication minus now why minus because of this minus plus into minus so basically seven into four is 28 yes minus 28 so what do we do we all we get x's on one side numbers on the other side so what do we do? We have this 2x. You have 2x plus 3x. Therefore, you know 2x plus 3x will be 5x. And you are plus 7x. If this plus 7x comes on the left-hand side of this equality, if this 7x comes on the left-hand side, what happens? It becomes minus 7x. From that side, if it comes to this side, it will become minus 7x. So that is minus 7x is equal to on the right hand side. What all we have? 8 minus 28. What is 8 minus 28? It is minus 20. And you have your minus 10 this side. This minus 10 goes on the right hand side. Right hand side of the equality minus 10 will become plus 10. So let's see what's happening now. We have 5x minus 7x is minus 2x. Minus 2x is equal to minus 20 plus 10. Minus 20 plus 10 will be minus 10. Right. When we have a negative number and a positive number, what do we do? We find the difference of the number and we put the whichever is the majority sign. So you have minus 20 plus 10. So minus 10. Okay. Yes. So you, have not, you have not taken minus 6. Oh, I forgot to take minus 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we missed that out. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Minus 6. That goes on the right hand side, right? So plus six. Yes, we missed out on that. Yes. Thank you so much, Chirag. Thank you so much. So you have your minus. OK, yeah. So we missed out. I was trying to explain it to few people who are not responding. So I was just I just missed out on that number. Minus six needs to go on that side. So that is plus six. So you have minus 20 plus 10, which is minus 10 plus six. Minus 10 plus six is how much? Minus 10 plus six. Minus Will be six. Steve. Minus four. Very good. That will be minus four. So you have minus two x is equal minus to minus two four. Equal to. Very good. So you what happens now? Minus you can, you can, minus multi two you can multiply with minus one on both sides. You can multiply with minus one on both sides. Therefore, the what will happen? Because you multiply with minus, this minus of minus two x will become two x, and minus of minus four will become plus four. You are multiplying minus on both sides. Now your x is equal to 4 divided by 2. Why divided by 2? This 2 will come down. Whenever multiplication on the right side, what happens? It will go down. Say so if we have a x is equal to b, whenever we have a x is equal to b, x will become what? B. This a will go down. So you have b by a, right? So that's how it is. People who do not understand this, please stop me. Why this A is becoming in the going in the denominator? If you are not sure, let me know. Stop me here. So your X is equal to two. I think. OK, what is he saying? Yeah, we, we can transpose. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, Pranay, it is better to transpose 5X right hand side than 7X this side as we'll get a negative number. I mean, it doesn't matter. You know whether you do it on this side or that side as long as you're comfortable with the fraction say for example this is the i'm explaining for regular students smart students who want to do it fast let me do it for you in a different way the same problem let's do it differently okay students who want to be fast do things fast very simple pick x's 2x you have 3x you have 7x you have so 2x plus 3x is 5x. You have 7x on that side. 7x minus 5x. 2x on your right hand side. Simple. On this side, 2 into minus 5 is minus 10. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. Right? On this side, 8, 7, 8 on this side, and 7 into minus 4 is minus 28. You know it's minus 28 plus 8 will be minus 20. So minus 20 comes this side is plus 20. 20 minus 16 will be 4. So two ones are two twos are.
it's a one step answer okay pranay yes, i you, you know what i'm trying to teach you is first fundamentals we should be in a position to solve it once you are good with fundamentals then you can play with them does that make sense pranay yes sir good okay so uh how many of you understood what i did in the second method quickly say understood in the in the understood. chat box yes yeah, sir okay so you can play with numbers like that for tafat okay so when i'm explaining in detail the purpose is to make everyone understand after we are comfortable solving basic problems we'll do the faster techniques later okay sir. good yes sir can you repeat the second procedure okay second procedure i'll i'll do that ronak once again give me a second i'll take another color and do it for you okay ronak so what i'm saying ronak look, let me remove the colors first let me erase all the rings okay let me do it fresh for you okay concentrate ronak so what i'm doing is i am picking up x's first i have 2x here 3x here so 2x plus 3x 5x you have 7x on the right hand side so the right hand side there are more x's on that side on the right hand side so what we are doing is 7x this 5x comes on that side so basically 5x on this side you have 7x on that side so 7x is greater than 5x therefore i would prefer taking 5x on the right hand side so 7x minus 5x you have 2x on the right hand side one single step okay now let's do the constants yeah. now constants 2 into minus 5 is minus 10 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 you have 8 here 7 into minus 4 is minus 28 so you have minus 28 and plus 8 minus 28 and plus 8 on the right hand side will give result to you as minus 20 on the left hand side you have minus 10 and minus 6 so that will be minus 16 on the left hand side So, which one is higher, minus twenty or minus sixteen? Minus sixteen. Minus sixteen. Yeah, very good. So here, but we want constants on this side. So what I'll do with this, I'll transpose this minus twenty on the left hand side. So if minus twenty comes so, on the left hand side, it will become will plus twenty. Be yes, plus sir. Plus twenty. Yes. So twenty yes, minus sixteen will be four. So four is equal to two x. So two x. Therefore, your x is equal to two. Yes, sir. Understood. understood brilliant brilliant let's go ahead chalo solve this okay so now you have x here so 0.16 into so we have 0.16 i'm writing one more step because you have made mistakes so 0.16 into 5x so 0.16 into 5x minus 0.16 into 2 so minus 0.16 into 2 is equal to right hand side you have 0.4 into x 0.4x plus 7 so i'm not okay. changing that at all okay now let's do this 0.16 into 5 can i multiply 0.16 into 5 yes 16 five za is 80 right therefore it will be it will be 0.8x is yeah. that yes or no everyone yeah yes yes sir yes sir 0.16 into 5 will be 16 5 size 80 but you have two dots there right so it will be 0.8 is it 0.8 or 8 0.8 very good so you have you have one second you have 0.8x minus 0.16 into 2 what is 0.16 into 2 16 2s is 32 it will be 0.32 people who are making mistakes learn this i think you are making mistakes with multiplication 0.16 into 5 sir there's a mistake there arya when i'm teaching i request everyone if unless it's something that something new that you want to say please don't stop me in between for the betterment of the class okay 0.16 into 5 is 16 fives are is 80 when you have 80 here now you have point after two decimals therefore your point comes here right there after these two decimals so point 8 it is point 8 similarly 16 twos is 32 so it's not 3.2 so it is point 32 here because here it is after two decimals you have to ensure that okay 
if you are making a mistake here you will end up making a mistake in your answers okay that should be equal to 0.4 x still remains there plus 7 good so Arya, you have anything to say now Sir, sure. uh, so far here I haven't made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. all I wanted to say, sir. Okay, okay. So, ne, Arya, you know there are so many people in the class, right? So, what will happen is in between it will get uh, others will not understand what I'm teaching. Yeah. Okay. So now let's look at this. You have point eight x on this side. You have point four x on that side. So what do you do? You get your point four x onto the left hand side. So it will be point eight x minus 0.4x, 0.8x minus 0.4x is equal to, on what happens now, you have 7 this side, your minus 0.32 will go on the right hand side. Plus so 0.32. Plus 0.32. Plus 0.32. So now tell me what is 0.84x minus 0.4x? 0.4x. It will be 0.4x. 0.4x. Right? It's a very simple subtraction. You have you know, people who don't know 0 0.80 minus 0.4x means 4 means what? 0 0.40 only, right? So your 0, 0, 8 minus 4 will be 4, so it will be 0.4. So it's 0.4x. So 0.8x minus 0.4x is 0.4x is equal to 7.32. 7.32. Very good. 7.32. Therefore, your x value will be. 7.32 divided 0. by 0. 0.4. Yes or no? Yes, sir. 0. 0.4. So how do we do this now? When we have 0. 0.4 here, you have 0. 0.32. Where so what do we do? 0. 0.3. So there are two ways to do it. People who know this, the fastest way to do this is, you know, you can put a 0 here, 0. 0.4 or 0. 0.40. It's the same thing right 0.4 or 0 0.40 is the same value so when you have after decimal there are two numbers after decimal there is two numbers therefore now you can remove the decimal so now what will be the value of x tell me what will be the value of x, x 732 upon 40 very good 732 okay. upon 40 so so that be uh, one three directly so you can divide that and get the answer so when you divide 732 by 4 let's 18. do 730. how much is that 18.3 very good 18.3 that will be the answer so we have uh so whenever we have so many brackets okay i want everyone to concentrate if you don't want to make mistakes in life in future always Whenever you have brackets with X's, go from inside and expand them slowly. So that means we will write this as 7X minus 5 times of, there is a flower bracket, so use that flower bracket there. X minus, there is this square bracket, 7 minus. Now, this is the most the one that is inside. So first break this, rather expand that first. So you have minus six into X is minus six X, minus six into X. You can see minus six into X, minus six X, minus into minus will be plus, your minus six into minus three. You can see minus six into minus three, minus six into minus three, minus into minus is plus, six threes are 18. So you will do that first and close the bracket and you will complete this flower bracket that should be equal to 3x plus 1. Okay, let's continue with this. 7x minus 5 times of, continue with the flower bracket, x minus. Now let's see what is happening inside this bracket. So I am increasing the number of steps now. You. It's up to the few students who want to reduce steps. It's absolutely your choice. But when you're learning fundamentals, first get fundamentals right. So I'm continuing with the bracket 7 plus 18. You can see inside these are pluses. This is plus 7 plus 18. 7 plus 18 is 25. So let me write that as 25 minus 6x remains as minus 6x. This bracket closes. The flower bracket closes is equal to 3x plus 1. Okay, 
Let's continue. 7x will still remain 7x minus 5 will remain at 5. This bracket is still open. Now let's open up this bracket now. Right? So you have x minus minus of 25 is minus 25 but minus into minus you can see this will be multiplied now minus into minus 6x minus into minus is plus therefore you have plus 6x you have plus 6x your flower brackets close this here that should be equal to 3x plus 1. now you can see inside there is x here there is 6x here i can see 7x there therefore let me simplify now 7x continues to be here minus 5 still remains here your flower bracket opens up now this inside the flower bracket now we are simplifying the terms inside the flower bracket so you have x plus 6x is 7x minus your 25 is minus 25 flower brackets are closed is equal to 3x plus 1 right so it's like a checker view in your checker view if let's assume you are inside and there are some circles around you so will you break the circle inside circle first or break the outer circle first because you have, so you have to take your inner circles and keep going out right so that's a simple logic very yeah. good now let's uh, i can see kavya very good good so let's continue with this now we can see let's take the next step you have 7x continues there minus now you can see inside you have 5 into 7x minus into plus minus 5 into 7. 5 7 is 35 minus 35x. Now minus into minus. You can see this minus multiplied with this minus. This minus multiplied with this minus will give you plus 5 into 25. 25 5s are 125. That should be equal to your 3x plus 1. So see now we have an expression which is absolutely independent of all the brackets that we are talking about so that looks easy now you have you can bring all x's on one side and take numbers on the other side so you have 7x minus 35 7 minus 35 what is 7 minus 35 My, Ma, minus 28 minus very good so let me take it here minus 28x 7x minus 20, 35x will be minus 28x. Your 3x, which is on the right hand side, if it comes on the left hand side, what happens if 3x comes on the left hand side? It will become minus 3x, right? Yes, sir. Very good. So that will be minus 3x. That should be equal to, yeah. What's on your right hand side now? You have 1 there, right? 1, 125. If it goes on the right hand side, minus what happens? 125. 125 minus 125. Are we going good? Sir? Yes. So, sir, uh, we can send uh, that minus 28x to the RHS side, no, sir? Because yeah, uh, if we get. I mean, we can do it, uh, Pranay, no problem at all. So, you know, few people don't understand if I take it directly that side. Just f let, let's, let's relax. Don't worry. Okay, yes. so you want that way? Let me do it that way only for you. No problem. No problem. Doesn't matter. I'll do it for you. Okay. Pranay wants it in a particular style because Pranay, Pranay loves that way. Then let's do it for Pranay. Okay. Let's do it that way. So 7x minus 35x. So Pranay says, sir, this is negative this side. So let me take that side. Bring this one on this side. So Pranay says, keep the constant this side. So 125 on this side. This plus one, if it comes this side, will be minus one. 125 is equal to. He wants that 3x to be on that side only. Very good, Pranay. No problem. Looks good. Looks sweet. No negatives. Wonderful. So 7x minus 35x is minus 28x. So he's taking minus 28x on that side. So minus 28x goes that side. It will become plus 28x. So you get 125 minus 1 is 124. Your 124 is equal to your 28 plus 3 is how much? 31. 31X. X. Brilliant. So your 31x. So effectively, what you got is 31x is equal to 124. If your 31x is 124, your x will be 124 by 31. 
You can see 34 is 120. So 1 4 is 4. So 31 4 will be 124. Easy to do math. You need not, it's not a super math. You can see 124 by 31. The moment you see, you can see 4. How? Because 34 is 120. 31 4 means 1 extra into 4 will be 4. So 31 4 is 124. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Brilliant, yes, sir. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant.